Hello and welcome back. So we just created our admin panel that has completed the authentication, all this stuff. Now it's time to work on our front end part, right? So if I just go to my folder structure and open up my front end project, you can see uh, basically this is the final view of our project that we're gonna create in our part. Okay, the shopping cart in the the login part, the registration part, all this stuff, right? so let's get started so if i just go to my php storm once again and inside my resources views and then we will create a new directory structure called front or front end you can see you can see so i'll just take it keep it front and that's enough i think and then simply we need to create of course we need to create our you know models and controllers for that but we'll just try to keep it simple so first thing is first we need to as usual we just creating our you know layouts and then for we might we might in the next series we might use the, the registration the sessions uh, directory structures and all this stuff right but for now we'll just keep it simple so if I just go to my blade and I'll create a new master layout and paste uh, okay let me just open this up if I just go to my index and paste this here and cop copy all the codes and paste them inside your master layout right but uh, before that okay first we need to make this for example okay just before this you need to if I just go to my vendor and CSS I think we need to just uh, copy our CSS file this is heroic features and just paste them inside your public assets and inside CSS okay and then the image of this basically we need the banner image so we need to paste this inside our uploads and basically the image is not uploaded we might use uh, a special function to upload this image but at the moment we just uh, keep it here okay okay inside banner so we'll just if I just go okay now we also need a route for that of course so these are our, this is our front end routes so if I just say route get and then the forward slash that's basically a route and we will we'll create a controller for that but at the move at least for now we just make it simple the front and then just go to index so if I just go to my friend and then index file and it will extend the layouts master but from front layout master layout and then if i just go to my browser and reload the page and there we go again the styling is not working so now here we will use to uh, bootstrap for cdn so if i just go to bootstrap 4 and simply we need to copy the cdn from here and then i'll just paste it inside my master file that's it so if i just again go and reload the page you can see the basic styling is working but again the main style sheet is not working which is exactly that one the same so we will use the function call url or asset so if you just reload the page okay we need to use the that's inside okay we need to use URL if, if it doesn't work oh yeah the folder name is missing here okay there we go that's working but not perfectly because our image banner images mark or uh, you know not working and the some stuff also there so I think we need to just check them step by step 
first i think the problem is is the or the style sheet is not properly working is because we don't need to use the alpha version of our bootstrap okay we need to use simple bootstrap 4.4 we don't need to use the alpha version okay okay that's exactly uh, that we just pasted here so if I just reload the page that's working fine so now if I just open my CSS file and then if I just pull coat okay we can also put the quotes here and then the name of the folder that's basically the same folder inside CSS and image uh, basically out of the CSS base sorry inside assets so if I just go and reload the page that's exactly working if I just again reload it that's uh, totally fine okay so uh, I think our admin panels uh, uh, sorry about that. the front end parts uh, configuration is com oh yeah the you know, can see if I just click on accounts that's not working so if I just go to my again master file and down here we also need to put the jQuery CD and then the bootstrap CD in so if I just click uh, here and then paste the uh, you know jQuery CDN and then of course the bootstrap CDN from the official side of bootstrap okay so if I just paste this and save and reload the page that's uh, if I, again okay that's that's still that's not working due to due to might be the version of bootstrap or jQuery okay we were using alpha so we don't need to use alpha if I just go to again the bootstrap for the official uh, documentation and just copy the jQuery and the bootstrap link and then paste it here replace this okay and if I just go ahead and reload the page now you can see it's working exactly the same way what we need right and and that's it this is the basic configuration we may need to use a little conf little more uh, stuff that we need to set is let's say for example right now I'm inside master layout and I can copy the navigation part from here and then just go to my resources front layout and then create a new blade file that I'll just call this nav right and simply we will include this nav and if i just reload the page that's exactly working okay now what next i think we also need to modify the products and all the other stuff we will we might be or you know change them in the next videos so in the next video we will be you know call our dynamic products from our database so this is the configuration of our front end part and in the next video i'll be working on the you know uh, dynamic calling of product and then we'll work on sign up and registration all this stuff okay so see you in the next video